Hello everyone, I am Osama Elisi, the Secretary of the International Plant Protection Convention, IPPC. I have the pleasure to speak with you today about the importance of sea containers relative to international trade and potential ways of avoiding unnecessary delays while at the same time mitigating economic losses resulting from plant pests associated with the international movement of sea containers. Clearly, sea containers play a pivotal role in the global movement of cargo and international trade. We certainly see the value of avoiding unnecessary interruptions with the international movement of sea containers. The IPPC community, however, believes that sea containers represent a significant pathway for plant pests as they move large volumes of internationally traded cargoes. The introduction and spread of pests to new areas result in significant control and eradication costs, losses in yields and access to international markets, and threaten food security, agriculture, as well as the environment. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, plant pests are responsible for the loss of up to 40% of global agriculture crops each year. They also cause trade losses exceeding $220 billion annually. There is international consensus among competent authorities that sea containers and their cargoes can potentially carry and facilitate the introduction and spread of plant pests that pose a serious risk to agriculture, forestry, and natural resources. Some of the most common examples of contamination from pests include capra beetle, invasive ants, Dementria moth, brown marmorated sting bug, spotted lanternfly, grain storage pest, snails, plant debris, soil, among others. A newly established IPPC focus group on sea containers has been working closely with industry representatives to develop a practical and effective approach to safeguard against the accidental introductions of pests via sea containers. We believe that everyone across the international sea container supply chain has a role to play in mitigating phytosanitary risks associated with sea containers. The number of diversified global stakeholders involved in the global logistics require a coordinated approach to ensure effective engagement and communication of all parties to provide the necessary safeguarding continuum for sea containers. The safeguarding continuum concept includes the application of transparent and practical solutions coupled with advanced technological innovations can effectively mitigate plant health risks related to the movement of sea containers while at the same time avoid unnecessary interruption to the supply chain of global trade. The safeguarding continuum calls on all parties in the international container supply chain to implement measures to reduce the risk of pest contamination while the container is in their respective control. The systematic approach of the safeguarding continuum includes four phases. The first phase starts at the port of departure or storage facilities and encompasses the mandatory cleaning and inspection of empty containers. It begins with containers being washed, 
vacuumed or simply swept to ensure freedom from pests or contaminants. Container depots have a particularly important role to play as they often act as the end and start points of container movement. The second phase includes the loading of cargo into the container. The receiving party should verify that the containers have been adequately cleaned before loading them with the cargo. The loading of the cargo should also be done in such a way to prevent the accidental introduction of pests into the containers. The third phase of the safeguarding continuum includes the operation of transfer and placing the containers onto the vessels. This includes the external visual examination to verify freedom from pests that may be attached on the outside of the container. The fourth and final phase in the safeguarding continuum occurs when the containers reach the port of arrival. Each container resulting from the preceding three phases would lessen the need for extensive inspection at the port of arrival, which could facilitate for an expedited and safe release of the sea container at the port of entry. The IPPC encourages all parties involved in container supply chain, including container depots, cosigners, shippers, packers, transportation service providers, cosignee, and terminals to exercise due diligence in the form of custodial responsibility for verifying that containers are free from visible contamination before they are transferred to the next responsible party. The use of technological solutions, such as digital monitoring systems, could offer the wherewithal necessary to aid industry and agencies in fulfilling the clean sea container objective throughout the supply chain. Also, the IPPC focus group welcomes input from stakeholders on practical measures and is particularly interested in any proposals for industry-led approaches. Keeping containers and cargoes clean can reduce the spread of invasive plant pests. A coordinated approach of the safeguarding continuum and communication is critical. It is essential to continue to raise awareness to broader audiences, including national and regional plant protection organizations, international organizations and industry stakeholders, such as container owners, shipping lines, container manufacturers, freight forwarders, packers, port authorities, marine terminal operators, shippers, importers, exporters, as well as stakeholders that are not involved in trade of plant and plant products. By taking the recommended actions at the critical interchange points, each party can contribute to keeping containers and their cargoes clean while moving without unnecessary interruptions through ports and onto their destination to ensure that supply chains and national and global economy function effectively. Thank you.